Thank you for the truth. Nobody knows the truth. Nobody can see it. It's beyond. But there are two paths. Somebody wants to follow the truth and others, let the truth follow me. It's your choice. The truth in the money, the truth in this position, the truth in this, this, and the other, and this, and that. And the other will say, I follow. The steps of Christ, the steps of the prophet, any footsteps. And this truth is inside us. We don't have to follow it in the outside. All what you see outside is the shadow of the inner treasure. So what do you want? What's your choice? Where is the truth? If your truth is in the money, is in the power, is in the war, or is in the inner treasure, it's up to you to find it. Yes, you can. Truth is not a convenience. There are two kinds of people in the world. One who wants truth to follow him and the others who wants to follow the truth. Yes, you are here to follow the truth. When Jesus said, come follow me, it's not me, me. Come follow yourself. Don't be a Christian. He is only a mirror to you. When Muhammad left his body and so-called died, you know, but Abu Bakr said, Man amana bi Muhammad, Muhammad mad. If you believe, you have faith in Muhammad, Muhammad died. But if your faith is in Allah, Allah is alive. Connection with the truth. We are linked to this. You are linked to all your kids, you are linked to existence, you are linked to all this. Every man is your brother, every woman is your sister, everyone is you, your mirror. But how to be on the path of truth? Don't follow blindly. Let's follow with understanding, with alertness, with awareness, with witnessing. And for this, we need a master. Watch as much as you can meeting with remarkable men. George Gurdjieff, he was eight years old when mom died and he started asking his father, where is my mother? And the father knows how to say it, you know. Not yes or no, just to be more aware and more awake. And he started also thinking and feeling and learning religion and science. And both of them are true, but there is truth beyond this. And he started going far and far and then in and in and in. And you see how he met the real path of life. And truth cannot be said, cannot be uttered, but can be lived. Like all the kids, you know, they live it spontaneously, you know, but then we don't listen to them, we don't know, and we put them in radical whatever traditional schools and give them books to read and more books and universities and colleges and all this so-called education information. This is why we are where we are. So it's our choice to follow our inner treasure, our inner grace. That's our choice. Or outside, where is the power, where is the energy, where is your truth? You see it on the top of the mountain, on the bottom of the ocean, in this, what is it? Which power? The power that has ends or the inner power, inner treasure? Can you ride two horses? Can you, you know, conquer the world and conquer yourself? If you know yourself, then you know the world. Start with the inner treasure. Because the more you go out, the more you go more out and more out and let me win this and let me take this and more this and tomorrow I will do this again and this and this and this and this. I know many people that are dying of cancers and okay, I have to to do this trade and to do this business and then I'll take care of my body. Cancer is the answer. Why do you have it? Why it's growing so much? 
100%, we all have cancers. Some people, they know, the others, they don't know. And more than cancer now, bigger disease, AIDS, bigger Ebola, bigger SARS, and more and more. Lie, 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 lie. Bigger lie, bigger lie. Global madness, global suicide, because the truth is out. It's not out. Doubt is the shadow. The more you go for the shadow, the more, where is it? I lost it. Here, there. We all start digging and digging. It's not by digging. It's not by begging. It's by being. Who are you? The real identity. The real individuality. The real uniqueness. No two hairs are the same. We don't belong to groups. We don't belong to nations. We don't belong to people, to number, to... No, you are unique. We came alone. We live alone. We live alone. But this aloneness is our existence, is our miracle. I am alone but not lonely. You know, I have the book which is a live friend. And I have few friends, few soul friends, almost in every country or nation or whatever. And when I see that there is death in every breath. So I am here only a guest, a visitor, visiting this planet. So I want to have my own grave and dig it with my action, my creativity, my being and doing what I have done. And the more you are good, the more you have many Judases in your life. But you say thank you and thank you and thank you to every Judas. Because if there is no Judas, I can see what is Christ. I could. Because of them, you know. Because of bad people, you are good. Okay. Thank you for doing this. Thank God you are doing it, not me. Thank you. This is how we learn from all our mistakes. Forgiveness, forgiveness, forgive. That's what we are doing. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for every being, for every animal, for every ant, for every sickness, for every pain. Pain is a grain too, you know. One grain turns the whole earth green, one seed. So every day, take a few minutes, and then will be a few hours, and then the 24 hours, every work is worship. But take a few minutes, close your eyes, and what happens inside? It's the real roots. Outside is the shadow. Close your eyes and see then, feel with the blind people how they walk and talk. Feel you are crippled. Feel that you are handicapped. So you feel with the others how strong they are, that they accept this. Why they are born like this? Because of me and you. Me, we are responsible. Because the handicapped kids is like a sponge, took all the diseases of the mama, cleaned her womb, so the mama loves him more than the others. We feel pity, but why? Watch out what I was eating, what I'm eating, what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, what I'm touching, all my senses. They are connected with this baby. You are interested only in few pounds of meat. No, this is a being inside me, not only a body. Take care of the body and watch the being. You are a being in the body. Like you are not the car, you are a driver. And this driver is the treasure. This driver does not die but living forever. The driver has no name. The name is of the body. So I have to call you Muhammad, you call me Maryam. But I'm not my name, change it. We are all here guests or pilgrims for peace or for war, it's your choice.
you are so strong if you are for war and killing. You are teaching me how not to be or teaching me how to be. So the two most important food for me, the book that I love and my body loves it and my being and I feel, ah, oh, he's saying what I cannot say. He's touching my heart. We are mirrors to each other. Like when a Christ speak or a prophet or an enlightened being, we are all light from light and thank you. And then a soul friend, that's all. And if you are rich more, you have a piece of land, small, where you can plant and the spring comes and the grass grows by itself. Live so simply that everybody can simply live. We don't need towers. Look what's happening to all the towers. We don't need this high-rise building. Who is number one? Who is number two? Who has more richer than the other? Who is more poorer than the other? The king said to the dervish, I'm so poor, I have only money. And when Buddha came to his father, he said, you are the king and now you are a beggar. He said, I was a beggar. Now I am the king on myself. Look at my eyes. I'm not the same, I'm not your child. I'm not a king. I'm not an emperor. Yes, I am a beggar. But this is the emperor. To know yourself. That all what you have, it's only the shadow. But the real richness is inside you. And one time he was, you know, walking and crossing, going to another village, and somebody spit on him. And he said, thank you. And the man said, how can you say thank you? And look what I'm doing for you. Please forgive me. He said, no, you're testing me. If I still have the feeling of anger or whatever, you know, please test me tomorrow if we met again. And the same with every enlightened being. This is the test. Here, not in the school or in the university, but life itself. The test comes first. Not like the school we study. The test, and then we study. The test, and then we study. And then comes the certificate that you passed it, yes. New lesson, every moment, every moment. This one and that one, what they said to you. So let's be grateful. Every day, every moment. What's this lesson? What's this pain? And just watch yourself. Be your own, not a judge, but be a rebel. Be your own master. Am I hungry? No, I'm bored. Okay. Just go for it. It's knowing. Put the mask. But the difference that the others, they don't know that they have a mask. Put the mask when you are with the society or with the group, but then take it off. You know when to put it and you know when to take it off.